push this here. Sorry, guys. There we go. <laughs> You know, you got to make sure it's clean. You never know, there might be some vid, vid on that coffee. Yeah, in Har Ontario. <laughs> you can never be too safe, you know. <laughs> you got to make sure, you know. You got to. You might as well just dip the whole thing in a in a vat while you're at it. Right. <laughs> Sorry for the language there. It's just, I don't know if you guys even heard that, but he had some foul language. I mean, it's just absolutely hilarious. Shout out to my brother Days of Noah. Some of the most in-depth, most well-informed content on YouTube with the occasional laugh. Thank you for that, brother. This is one of the more humorous pieces of content that I've posted. I normally tend to be on more of the serious side, but I realized that nowadays, you know, we need a good laugh once in a while. And if you look around today in society, you are not going to be at a loss for finding some of the more extreme ways that people are finding to so-called protect themselves. Those that are walking and living in a spirit of fear that do not uh, trust and believe in their own God-given immune system and their ability to overcome uh, sicknesses of the day. Uh, I really just don't know what to say. I feel like sometimes when I walk around and witness some of the things that people are wearing, some of the things that people are masking, I just feel like I'm in a cartoon. I feel like I'm in Looney Tunes. I feel like I'm in some type of cartoon world with Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd and the rest of them. It's just unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. Second Timothy 1.7 God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. If you're someone who's walking around today making decisions, especially about your health and your life and your welfare, based on a spirit of fear, then that comes from the enemy and you need to question those decisions that you just made. God bless.